Hello everyone, I'm Nate Asher, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda in Wake HD. In last episode, we got the Orcas tedious minigame out of the way. In this episode, we will be doing some more exploring on the high seas. Now, a lot of these platforms that you'll come across, if you shoot all the cannons, or like basically destroy their defenses, then it usually rewards you with a, a chest. This one appears to um, work a different way. You have to step on the switch, which makes a chest appear on the opposite platform. I think this is maybe one of the um, early platforms that at least expected or the game assumes you're gonna come across these but point is is they're more of a um, oh, if you'll notice links looking up the reason for that is because well unless he's looking at the uh, big dipper which that's pretty cool that's even in here. Um, but some of these you can use your um, grappling hook, I guess it's called, to get up on the roof. Not really a necessary or important, but. We're gonna move wind so that it faces that way. Then we're going to get all right here, let me move my mic so you can maybe hear me better. Then we're going to head out that way. And another treasure chart, okay. Wait, I don't know if we're still trying to get the um, joy pendants, but if we are, those guys are everywhere, and so it makes it pretty easy to quickly farm those. So basically, yeah, you had the, um, obviously the big, special, important, um, chest, and then you have the not as important chest, like the more regular one, which means that we did them in the correct order, because we didn't, uh, have to do this first, but we do want them both. I guess if your timing's a little bit off, you'll just bounce off the ladder and be too far away to grab it. That's cool. Oh, well, at least it's a golden feather and not um, another joy pendant or something.
See if we can jump off backwards onto the boat. Aw. Oh. Okay, so where do we need to go for? Go ahead and open that chart. It was. Looks like we will be able to go there. First, we're going to um, get what we need to get from Beetle, as well as uh, try and feed some of these fish. Okay, so I don't see. Wait, is that him? It's so hard to tell with the freaking storm going. Might be towards this though. He's usually like close to an island. On the island due east of here lives an old man who was once a master swordsman. He's got proof of it too. He has a knight's crest. Want to know what that thing is, Fry? Oh, I already know what it is. Where that guy's master are at this point. Alright, so we've got that. Um. Now we just gotta go. Fish jumping. Yeah, I think I saw him. There he is. Got some great information, small fry. Lucky you. Use the treasure that's hidden on that island there. The thing that vanishes as soon as you get near it, it won't vanish anymore. You know, it. Okay, so this is um, alluding to the ghost ship that we will have to get on later.
Okay, so that's telling us to um, try and sink those ships that have the cannons on them. Right, onward to the next one. I think we've got like two more, and then we can go and uh, buy something from Beetle. There he is. I've been a really weird guy on the island due east of here. He had a pack on his back huger than any pack I've ever seen. I mean, it was B-I-G. Big. <laughs> he said he was looking for treasure, but what does he expect to find in a place like that? I tell you, the guy is completely obsessed. Alright, we'll have to check that out sometime. Alright, so this is one of the islands that uh, the letter that we got in the post box last was talking about. I heard the bird people who live on Dragon Roost Island east of here have invented a useful device. Okay, yeah, we've already... That's just telling us we can get stuff out of enemies' pockets with the grappling hook. Which we already knew. So, now, we'll just go straight this way. And right by that island on the horizon there is uh, where we're going to get these items from Beetle. of heart and a treasure chart. How much for the bottle? 500. And the piece of heart is 950. Thank you. Okay. Bye. 
Alright, so I guess we're gonna have to come back when we get some more rupees so we can get some more stuff from Beetle and his um his mask, but anyway that's gonna do it for this episode guys. If you enjoyed please leave a like and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.